grapes, OK? So what happens is the picker goes up here, grabs as many grapes as he can, takes them back to one of his teammates, puts them inside their shorts or pants, obviously, to keep them at the right temperature. They then, in turn, run up to the chair and they sit on the chair with the grapes in their pants and they go like that. <laughs> and they have to go like that for ages to get the maximum amount of juice out of the grapes. And then they get up and the whole thing starts again. The winners are the people with the most amount of wine in the bowls at the end of the game. <laughs> OK, so over here we have the other thing being prickly heat. Of course, the pickers are naturally on a bungee rope. Now, girls, could Junior. you pour the wine into the... I'm going to eat a grape. Ah! Oh! Oh! Now, let's see if we can see who's the winner. Show me, show me, show me, show me. So hold it up for me, Arlene, Yvonne. It's going to be bring very close. Bring it over close. here, bring it over here. I definitely think you'll find that Scotland. Excuse me, it's a little... Yeah. I think it's Scotland are the winners. We were going to try and uh, disguise this game with some convoluted explanation, but actually, it's just a game of groping. It's called Battle. It's called Battle. Guys think that they have the pulling power of a 60-ton dumper truck. Well, we thought we'd put their pulling power to the test with this next game, which is called Pull the Birds. Basically, the game goes like this. Two teams against each other. What they have to do is swim in a very manly fashion on their surfboards up to the beach, where they come out, they run up the sand to here, their chest of drawers, where they have to apply shaving foam and do a very close shave. Then they have to apply some deodorant. They also have to put some socks down their pants, because I'm afraid size does actually matter. Then they have to get their gloves <laughs> and come along to here, which is where their birds are. Now, they've got to pull these four birds, one at a time, up this very slippery runway here by the rope, and once they get them to the end, they have to pick them up and run with them as fast as they can to this bed here, where they fling them down onto the bed, run back to pull the next bird along. The winner is the first team to pull all four birds and jump into the bed themselves. So over here we have Northern Ireland, yeah. and over here we have Wales. Yeah. Time to get pulling. Four guys, one from each team. They come down the slides, sculpting with their dough creatively as they go. When they hit the water, they have to stop and swim as quick as they can to the artist board here. First one here is the winner. Obviously, extra points for artistic interpretation. And what we'd like them to sculpt this time is something that they might find in Julian's hotel room, like the lowest off rugby team. Or knee pads. <laughs> Thing that might be found in my bedroom. Jason, England, you got out of the water first. Yeah, well done. Um, ask what it is. Um, Michael, what may that be? That was supposed to be a cup, but it got mangled when I landed. A cup? <laughs> supposed to have a wee hole there, see? Uh, let's release just it a bit. It, yeah. <laughs> a cup, or is it just a lump of play day? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Laughing boy. Oh, oh that's in two pieces. What can it be? Well, it was in one piece, but uh, it broke up in the water. It was a banana. A banana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you got the colour right, anyway. <laughs> look at this creative. Jason, look. Thing. It's marvellous. What is that, Jason? Oh. Oh. Snap. oh, yes. oh yes. Very, very impressed. That's amazing. Look at the detail there. Is this the right one? Look at the detail. Yeah. Detail. Look at all those circles detail. on the wiggly line there. Yes. Don't go on about it. Oh, no, have I had an accident? Well, you are a renowned homosexual, are you I not? I am, you? I don't care who knows. Okay. Well, this is a pillow, and look, it's even got bite marks on it. <laughs> hey! That's also very clever. <laughs> Big round of applause. Very good, very, very good. Fantastic. Well if done. slightly offensive, but um, we won't dwell on it. Um, marks, is there any doubt in anyone's mind, Jason, Jason. full marks for you? Jason full marks. Second. 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 Very imaginative. Laughing boy, third, I'm afraid. The banana, no. Banana, no? I think that should be third. Oh, really? Why? <laughs> Why is that, Julian? Because the banana's a bit obvious. Oh, OK. So are we falling out over this? Well, no, no, it's fine. I don't want to upset you. No, no, really. <laughs> Go on, girl. I've been on BBC, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, um, point taken. Third for Scotland. 
fourth for Wales. Thank you. <laughs> we love them all, don't we? All our little children. All of them. All 32 of our babies, apart from Phil. <laughs> <laughs> resplendent in their evening dresses because they've been invited to a party to the first station where they put on a wig they then run with their wig to pick up their booze they have a bottle of champagne here which they have to blow up only when it's fully inflated can they then run down to the water they have to go outside in order to get to the party and they get absolutely sippy and they think oh, I've forgotten a present for the host I've got to pick up some balloons they pick up some balloons and they come to the party and they realize that they've forgotten their invite oh no they're gonna have to climb through the shrubbery this rather attractive kind of blue and red shrubbery over here get through and then finally they get into the party which is up onto the podium and they meet their best first girl to get a powder puff in the face is the winner all that and more next week can you cope but for now goodbye goodbye thank you thank you